Hey, Dave. With David Price after his outing yesterday, how is he feeling today? Um, ha haven't seen him yet. Um, so hopefully it's no news is good news. And uh, he did a nice job. So I'll assume he'll be down today. Uh, I'll, I'll be available possibly. We saw one roster move today for uh, to add to the bullpen. Do you think there will be any additional ones to help support those guys? Uh, we got Felice uh, for Vasquez today. Um, and potentially tomorrow, uh, we might do something else. We got Steven Sousa on the taxi uh, today. But as far as bullpen, that's it for today. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Dave Vasquez. Go ahead. Dave, do you expect to have Mitch White start or maybe be in the mix at some point in the game tomorrow? Um, I, I think most likely uh, we'll open with somebody and uh, he'll take the bulk though. Uh, as far as the offense goes, Dave, over the course of time that you've been the manager, I've heard you use the phrase numerous times, passing the baton. Do you feel like the team has done that consistently? It feels like that was your identity in years past. Um, we've done it at times. I, I think uh, it, it recently, uh, Corey Seager's done it the best um, and, and taking walks and staying in the strike zone. Um, you know, at times, obviously, Will Smith does a fantastic job of that. And, um, so I think that's part of it, Dave. And I also think part of it is just, and I've mentioned, you know, downshifting and shortening up to, to move the ball forward. And I think that the strike at where you need to drive in a run um, hasn't been the case. So I think um, that's part of it. But also, like you said, yeah, pass the baton, keep the line moving. And uh, if you can continue to stress guys and get guys on base, but, you know, the last part is you got to finish the inning. Yeah, and do you feel like at some, in, you're in one of those stretch where you have multiple guys that are unable to finish an inning when presented the opportunity? Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that's where you get into the uh, situation where uh, you don't. Um, guys before want to do it themselves, and that gets to be dangerous where you start trying to create offense yourself and expand. Um, so we got to trust the process as far as offense, collective offense and uh, take good at bats. You know, if they're not going to throw strikes, take your base and have the next guy behind you and trust that he can do the job. And when you can do that, that's how it works more fluid. One final thing for you, Dave, Tony Gonsolin pitched uh, at Rancho a couple of days ago. Uh, was it a positive outing? And do you feel like he's trending to help you guys soon? Yeah, it's uh, it's a positive. It was positive, and uh, he'll be activated with us uh, here soon. Thank you. You got it, Dave. Next question is from Juan Delivio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Just kind of following up on some of the, the other in, other injured guys. Uh, Kershaw's getting after here on the field right now. How did everything kind of bounce? How did he bounce back from yesterday's uh, bullpen? Really good, really good. Yesterday was good, so he's going to head out uh, this out late this afternoon to OKC uh, and and make his start tomorrow. Uh, and then with that, then um, expect him back at some point soon. So it's pretty exciting for all of us. I know you watched them yesterday. How did the stuff look? I mean, did, did it look like before the injury, or there was just some expected rust? How did everything kind of look? Um, I thought yesterday was really good as far as crispness, um, command, um, the sharpness of, of the breaking ball, um, the life to the fastball. So yesterday, that pen was as good as I've seen in quite some time. And then with Danny Duffy, how did he bounce back? And is there still time for him to kind of uh, make an impact this season? There is. There's still time. Um, from what I understand, um, he felt good. Um, and I think if you look at Duff, I think, you know, to, to be a, uh, you know, a two inning monster, something like that, I still think that there's time for that um, to get left, get right out. So one thing I know, and, and I, it's an easy bet, is that he's going to do everything he can to be active and help us win a championship. So uh, I just really personally want the best for him. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Go ahead, DG. 
Hey, Dave, just to follow up on Clayton, if all goes well tomorrow night, do you imagine him being plugged into the rotation next turn? Uh, that's the hope, DG, yes. And uh, how is Max's hamstring uh, coming up? That last game? I haven't seen him uh, today yet, uh, but what I, what I understand, uh, he, he feels good and like his last start, he, he's very, he's a very good communicator and um, he's not going to put himself or, or the ball club in harm's way. So um, we'll keep an eye on him. And uh, it is good to know that uh, he's on the mound and we have a fresh bullpen behind him. And uh, any idea on starters for Wednesday and Thursday? Uh, no, we, we, we don't. I think it's kind of TBD right now. Um, I know that, um, Mitchell's going to take the brunt for tomorrow, and then uh, Andre Jackson is here taxing, so you can see him kind of uh, in the mix, too, on probably Wednesday. The travel kind of went smooth, all things considering, last night? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Um, I might have a little bit of sleep still in my eye, but uh, no, it went well. Guys are ready to go. Uh, obviously, we... Uh, bang BP and get guys off their feet late startup, but our guys have played here. So yeah, it's good. We'll be ready to go today.